Uh, February is Black History Month, and so in honor of Black History Month, we decided to come visit the museum. So we are at the Houston Museum of African American Culture here in Houston, Texas, and we are going to check it out. So join us. I believe that you had one of the most traumatic presidencies with the loss of life. Certainly, uh, I lived through the tragedy of 9 11. So um, we are going to write a letter to the Obamas um, for uh, just showing our gratitude and um, just thanking them for their service. See, and then uh, the museum is going to uh, mail it to them. Oh, me, right? I can write the word. You can write. Good job, Joseph. Thank you. Can I say President? P? P? R? E? Period. Good job, Joseph. Now put it in here. Put it in here. Put it in here. Joseph. Which one's mine? Right here? No, no, no. Is it coming in? No, no, no. Is that, is that, is that, is that, uh, put an O? It's okay. I think it's that one right there. No. Let him do it. Yay! Yep. So we can't honor Black History Month without eating authentic soul food. Uh, so we came to Mickey's Soul Food behind us. And I have Anita and of course Christy. And we are going to check this place out. It's our first time. Uh, it was day, um, it was recommended. recommended on the Deborah Duncan or by Deborah Duncan on the Great Day Houston show. So I told my sister we have to try it out. Uh, so we will let you know what we think. So we're excited. Yay! Yay! Always look both ways. Oh, for you. Oh, yeah. 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 I always like to see when they have a celebrity. Celebrities. Guys, Usher came here. Oh, sweetie pie. I like that it's like cafeteria style. So you can kind of choose what you want, you get to like look at it. What did you order? Okay, so I got some fried chicken, some mashed potatoes, some 
um, Cajun corn, some gravy, cornbread, and some red beans, and banana pudding right here. Yay! That's that looks delicious. <laughs> See, what did you order? Um, I took with the fried chicken also, mashed potatoes, and I did a double side of macaroni because it's a lot of food, so I'll be taking one home. <laughs> uh, yeah. Awesome, that looks delicious. Yeah. All right, Debbie, what did you order? So I wanted to be a little more adventurous, and I ordered the oxtail. Oh, wow. This is my first time trying it out, but I've always heard that that's kind of like a traditional soul food. Yeah. So I got the oxtails with mashed potatoes, collard greens, which is also like traditional yeah. soul food, and uh, macaroni and cheese, or cornbread, and then of course I had to, couldn't, I couldn't like not eat chocolate. Okay, so you are going to share that because it's big, right? Yes. Yeah. I'll share since you put me on the spot. <laughs> Okay. All right. Sister, since you've never had, uh, what was that? I hooked it. Oxtails. Okay, try it. And tell us. It really is good. Is it? Um, okay. I would say it's kind of like the meat from the caldo de res. Oh, okay. That's what it tastes like. It kind of looks like that too. Yeah, so it's really good, and it has gravy, so. So far, so good. I, I like it. All right, cool. <laughs> okay, so we just finished eating, and thank you, sister, for recommending the steak. It was delicious. It was. It was really good. I tasted her oxtails, and it was really good. It was. So the so cornbread. And that chocolate. It was great. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I'm so cool. Yes. So we highly recommend it. We can hardly walk. We yes. ate so much. They serve a lot. They served a lot. So we have a lot to take home. It yes. was a lot. It was good. So it's completely worth it. It's family owned. Uh, and so, you know, we like to support local businesses. Uh, so come out and try it out and let us know what you think. Leave it in the comments. And the prices were good. So big portion for the price of the yeah, so I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. Uh, so we'll see you on next Tuesday. Bye.